do this first. So let's go to kernel, all right, where we have our middlewares. Now, as you can see here, we have a couple properties, right? We have the middleware property here. This is the maintenance mode that you can put your application in maintenance mode. And as a matter of fact, let me show you how to do that real quick. Right now, you can see that we can go to our application right here. So if we type in PHP Artisan down, application is now in maintenance mode. All right. You can always learn something new in every lecture, guys. Just make sure that you don't skip. Skip lectures skip <laughs> skip lectures enter and as you can see be right back you could do that when you have this in production and then go you go and update your website all right let's go ahead and do this php addison up all right there we go it's up again all right all right cool so we got this middleware property here this is just to group it all right so we are grouping all these middlewares together in and we are referencing referencing it them by this key web all right and this is by default we have the web and the api we also have these route middlewares all right and this is where how we're gonna register our route our middleware we're gonna register as a route middleware so i'm gonna name it row oops not route row and then i'm gonna give it a path so we know that it's on app we know that it's on HTTP, and we know that it's in the middleware folder, and we know that it's named row middleware. And then we do that, that, I mean, well, colon, colon, class, comma. There we go. We put the comma there since this is a, a um, an array, right? We can just put the comma there and get ready for the next one. Cool. So now that we register it, now let's learn how to use it, right? So for that, we can go to HTTP routes. There we go. There are a couple ways of using middlewares. All right, you can pass it through the route right here to the this get method, or you can use it in the construct like the controller, like the home controller right here. All right, you can pass it through there. So let's go back to routes real quick. And let's create a route. Um, let's create a route that's called admin. Admin role. No, user roles. Just like that. All right. And let's just say function. All right. Return. We're going to return something, but let me show you how to apply this middleware. So let's say right now we want to apply the middleware role to it, right? To this get request. All right, cool. We put a an array. Make sure that you put the other end right here in the middle. And we're going to enclose this whole thing inside this middleware. So we're going to say middleware. That is the key, all right? And the value would be the name of our middleware, okay? So now we have applied our middleware to this admin user roles get requests, all right? And here we can return whatever data we want or, um, you know, do whatever, okay? So let's say, um, Let's call it middleware row. All right. So now let's actually go to the, and you don't have to put anything here, but I'm just giving you an example. Let's go to the middleware actually, to our row middleware here, and we're going to handle this request. All right. So what do we want to do? Well, we got to, we got to do something here. Um, let's actually redirect the user. All right, let's redirect them back. Or, you know what, let's redirect them to root. That's it. That's all we got to do. Let's just do that real quick. 
all right and then we 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 do the next request all right so let's go and open up a browser and try that so it's middleware.dev is admin users user roles I think it is as you can see it redirects us back to the to the home page all right so I hope you see what what middlewares actually do all right and you can register multiple middleware routes if you want okay so if you have if you have multiple middlewares you can register them like this I'll show you you can pass in the first one you can what you can do is you can actually and close this inside an array like this so you can say um, you get the first one roll and then you can say the next one is auth and of course you need a comma here all right and you can pass multiple middlewares all right so in the next lecture we're gonna do something a little bit better than this all right where we're gonna probably check for maybe a user role or something like that something that makes a little bit more sense so you get a better idea but I think you already have the idea on how we apply middlewares how to register them and how to use them to protect our application all right so in the next lecture we're gonna you know do a little bit something a little bit more functional so that way you can get a better idea all right thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next lecture